Your Excellency, my dear brother, the Governor of Gombe State, Alaji Enuayaya, Her Excellency, the Deputy Governor, uh, Dr. Daniel Jatu, the former Governor, Your Excellency, now Senator, distinguished Senator, Danjima Guje, uh, and all the members, the distinguished senators present, and the honorable members of the House of Representatives present, honorable ministers that are present, uh, Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, who is uh, a homeboy, Dr. Isa Ali Ibrahim Pantami, and uh, the Honourable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, the Honourable Minister of State, Industry, Trade and Investment, who uh, is from Bauchi State, but uh, there's hardly a difference between Bauchi and Gombe, given the history. Uh, uh, Her Excellency uh, Mariam Katagum, um, the Right Honourable Speaker of the House uh, of Assembly, uh, and uh, but uh, I think that we are here really on account of the hospitality and uh, the kindness of His Royal Highness, the Emir of Gombe, and uh, Chairman of the, uh, of the Gombe State Council of Emirs and Chiefs, um, Alaji Dr. Abubakar Shehu Abubakar III. It is um, really a special pleasure, Your Royal Highness, to be here. Uh, first, to pay a tribute to you and uh, to bring the very warm greetings of uh, His Excellency Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, who, as you know, uh, holds this state very dear to his heart. And uh, to thank you for the very warm reception we are here at the invitation of my brother, the governor of the state, to, uh, to hold what we call the MSME clinics. These, uh, this is a federal government project. And what we try to do is to bring in the regulatory authorities, uh, such as NAFDAQ, SON, CAC, the uh, companies, uh, the, uh, reg the uh, Corporate Affairs Commission, and other regulatory agencies. We bring them to a state such as this so that small business men and women can meet with them and tell them what their problems are. And they hopefully are able to resolve those problems. Of course, it's very difficult for a small businessman or woman to travel all the way to Abuja or Lagos just to register a company in some cases or to get approvals for products and all that. So what we try to do is to bring the regulatory authorities to the states so that the small businesses can uh, benefit from that interaction. We've done so in several states already. And uh, I think this will be uh, our 27th uh, state which we are visiting with this program. Sometimes what uh, happens is that we're able to get the states themselves to work with us to set up uh, what we call shared facilities where uh, small businesses can come together to take advantage of uh, facilities which are provided by the federal government. So for example, we can have shared facilities we, uh, for uh, farmers. Uh, storage, for example, we have a storage center in, um, in Benue, for instance, which is a shared facility for the farmers there so that they can store their yams. Here, of course, in Gombe State, there's a lot going on in terms of agriculture as well, cotton and all that, and there are possibilities of being able to do something for the farmers and the agro-processors that are here. So we're here to do a lot, and also uh, we have heard a lot from about what is going on here in Gombe State. Uh, 
Your Highness, I don't want to play politics, but you can see the difference in an APC government. I'm sure that you can, you know. Uh, so, we are, so we can see there, there's so much that is, that, that is going on. Roads, hospitals, in agriculture, in small business, so much that is, that is going on here. Uh, we will not have the opportunity to go around and see everything this time, but that will be my excuse for coming back uh, to Gombe to come and see uh, all of these developments. Your Royal Highness, I'd like to thank you again for your warm hospitality and also members of the Emirate Council who are here. I'd like to thank you all for the very warm welcome and to say that our country deserves all of our attention at this time, all of the attention we can give it. Those who are preaching division, those who are preaching separation and all sorts of things, we must continue to persuade them that this country of ours is great because of the diversity. We passed by the governor's uh, home, his family home, as we were coming here, and he was showing me that between his home, the, the two houses that sandwich his own family home, are homes belonging to Yoruba people who have lived there for generations. This is the way our country has always been. Our country has been tolerant of people of other tribes. We are one country, this country called Nigeria, and we are great because we are together. The moment we separate, that greatness disappears. Our greatness is in our togetherness, is in our unity. And I think that this is something that we must continue to preach and propagate so that those who are preaching division do not succeed, and they will not succeed by the grace of God. So I want to thank you again, Your Royal Highness, and to thank you very much for all the work you have done, especially in this kingdom, ensuring that there is peace, ensuring that there is peace with, amongst the peoples who live here, and the various people. And I pray that the Almighty God will help you in this kingdom, that you will live long, you will live long, you will see peace, you will enjoy peace and security. And all of your dreams, all of your dreams for this kingdom and for this state and for this country, all of them will come to pass. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir.